There are some times in life when you just want to go home and unwind. And maybe you don't want to use your brain, and that's not a bad thing. So there's some games for that. And here we have Dead Rising 4. Frank West is back, baby. And the thing about Frank West is that he actually enjoys this. He enjoys killing zombies, but not like he's like he's trying to survive and having a bad time. No, Frank West adores it. And it's Christmas, according to Dead Rising. And uh, guess what? You'll get, if you're used to Dead Rising, you'll get more of that. And that's awesome. There was a time when the PlayStation 2 came about that a game was trying to show off how many uh, enemies or characters could have at the screen at the same time. And you know, they, they went Dynasty Warriors and games that based their whole gimmick on that. Now it's PlayStation 4 and we are Dead Rising and there's like a bajillion zombies on the screen. So many zombies that it's ridiculous and it's pretty damn fun. So Frank West has a lot of crazy weapons. There's like an exosuit. It reminded me of that movie called Elysium, uh, the movie with Matt Damon. And uh, so Frank West uses the exosuit and he literally like Gorilla Press, a zombie, and then he rips him apart. Uh, there's also an axe that it's electrified, and really, it's so much. It's like a catharsis doing that. And uh, he has like, um, you charge the special, and he does like a thing, like Thor, and then like electricity comes about, and boom, everything, everything like explodes in a million pieces. And you know, and if that's not enough for you, there's also vehicles. There's like a, like a boogie that is, it's also has like a, a 360 minigun and it's crazy doing like da -da 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 everywhere. There's also like a little cart, like literally uh, you see Frank West, he's like almost at the floor and the thing also has electricity and it's, it's crazy, but it's dead rising, and that's what it's all about. I wasn't even paying attention to the mission that I had to do because, uh, dude, I was so distracted. Now, the setting right now, uh, from the thing that I just saw, it wasn't like a mini mall. I remember on Dead Rising 2, it, was a, it wasn't a mini mall. It was a gigantic mall, and I got distracted, but there's so many things you can wear, like everything, everything that was around you was a weapon. There's also like an ice sword. Yeah, I know, how weird is that? A flamethrower, and uh, if you don't want to do that, you could also go like the punching route. And he has like this slow-mo cool when he, it's a knee to the face for the zombie, and that, it's pretty fun. You're gonna hear that word a lot. Fun, 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 because that's what this game is all about, and I'm into it. Uh, sometimes I don't want to use my brain. This is the perfect game for that. And games are not always supposed to be about simulation. Also, you just have to, you know, kick back and kill some zombies. Let's just wait and see what else we're gonna bring to the floor here at the Capcom booth. E3 Los Angeles, California. This is Carcamo, the forger of pain, saying, like or die.